Hi guys, welcome back to my video. So I'm finally back with my old camera and I think this just looks so much better. I'm sure you all agree. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that my brother recently got back from the States and of course I had to place some order with him. I placed this huge order on Ulta and he got everything back safe and sound like all properly packed and stuff so that's what i'm going to be sharing with you all whatever i got from the us and trust me there are a lot of things that i got so basically there are these two huge packets now this one actually consists of chocolates and chocolates only so i don't think i'm really going to go through these but um, i'm just going to show you some like you have hershey's there's Ferro Rocher, there's Lint. Lint is my favorite. Is this Lint? Yes. This is Lint. Lint is my favorite. I actually posted a picture of the chocolates on Instagram in case you guys want to see. But the main attraction is, of course, this one, which consists of all the makeup and stuff that I've bought. And majority of these are actually from um, Elf Cosmetics because I kind of like wanted to go easy on them. So I got the majority of stuff from Elf. And if you want to know whatever I got, then please keep on watching. So my hair is a complete mess but anyway now before i actually show you guys the stuffs that i got from the us i first want to show you guys two things that i bought recently um these are skincare products and i'm talking about the biotech bio dandelion ageless lightening serum and this is the lotus herbals neutral eye rejuvenating and correcting eye gel so my skin right now is in really bad condition like um I have some really deep dark circles, um, I have dull skin, of course it's tanned as hell. Basically I kind of like just stopped caring for my skin for over a month and now I want to kickstart my skincare routine again and I want to do it with newer products so which is why I got these two and now let's get on with the actual US haul. So the first two things that I can see right now, I'm going to first show you the two big packets that I have, the two big boxes. So the first one is this ELF All About Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. Um, there are 32 colors in this and you also get an eyelid primer and two pairs of brushes. I'm going to open this up and show you guys. So this is what it looks like. This is the eyelid primer, this is the eyeshadow primer. This is a liner brush, this is a liner brush, this is a simple kind of like an eyeshadow brush but you can also blend it a little bit and this is the eyeshadow palette. So the weird thing about this is that um, I did not go through the reviews but I just placed the order and after I placed the order I was going through the reviews and the reviews were so bad for this like majority of the customers kept saying that this is not pigmented at all so I got so scared and skeptical about this but now that I swatch it it's quite pigmented I would say like this one maybe not as pigmented as um, it should be but definitely not as bad as the reviews were saying so this is the first thing now the second thing is actually a skincare product so Ulta makes these kits um, these amazing kits at really affordable prices that you can buy now they, they I think there are makeup kits I'm not exactly sure but they are definitely skin kits and this is one of the skin kits that I got for my mother so um, basically you get um, travel size and uh, sample size products from a variety of brands for you to try and determine which brand uh, you like best and then perhaps you can later on go and buy the full size product so all the things that you see on the box are all the things that are there inside the box and this box was for $10 and the elf eyeshadow palette was for $10 as well so there are like four stuffs under cleanse two under treat and three under moisturize I'm going to quickly open and show you guys the things one by one so um, first you have the Burt's Bees um, Cucumber and Sage Facial Cleansing um, basic, Basically these are makeup removers This is by Burt's Bees And this is of course kind of like a full size product Next there is this Jurgens Jurgens? Is that how it's pronounced? I don't know how it's pronounced But this is the Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer For fair to medium skin it's written But I tried this and The smell Okay the smell is so so good just fantastic smell um, I'm really looking forward to this this is what I'm going to be using definitely uh, next you have this this is the skin fix foaming clay cleanser this is what it looks like then there is two more cleansers in my hand this one is my Neutrogena this is the hydra boost hydrating cleansing gel 
this one and this is the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser this is definitely for my mother my mother has got really dry skin so this is going to my mother then then what do we have okay you have the, you also have the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes this is again full size then 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 okay now we have the Olay Eyes Pro Retinol Eye Treatment. This is of course sample size. Look how tiny this is. Just look how tiny this is. Oh, by the way, I did my nails. I hated how my nails looked in my previous video. I was cringing the whole time. So I quickly changed it and I did my nails. So yeah. And then there is this Vichy Aqua Layer Thermal Rich Cream Dynamic Hydration. So this is there. This is kind of like a small um, travel size product let me just open it okay so this is how big it is then there is this La Roche Posay sunscreen this is really really tiny I can barely like make like I can barely use it for a week or so or even less this is really tiny and the last product is this this is the Ulta Beauty detoxifying charcoal deep cleansing clay mask now this is an in-house brand like this is uh, by Ulta themselves you have Ultra Beauty written over here. This is a cleansing clay mask. I am definitely going to try this. So those are all the things for this um, box. So I got something from Maybelline and it is this Age Rewind Eye Concealer. I have seen so many beauty vloggers use this and rave about this. I know Kaushal loves this. And ever since I got it, uh, like ever since I saw it, I really wanted to get it. So I got this and I got this in the shade medium. Of course, I do not know if this will suit me at all. But I just kind of like eyeballed and got medium. So this is um, one of the things that I got. The next thing that I can see is this e.l.f. baked highlighter. And I got it in blushed gems. Now, I originally wanted to get uh, Moonlight Pearls. But um, I have another highlighter from another brand I'm going to show you and they were both kind of like clashing like they were coming from the same color family. So just to switch things up I got blush gems instead and I am going to post um, a comparison between this highlighter and the other highlighter on my Instagram. So if you want to see swatches you can head over there. The next thing is this eyeshadow palette. This is by Rimmel London and it's called the Magnificent Eyes Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Keep Calm and Wear Gold. So this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. I'm going to swatch one of the colors. Wait. I haven't even swatched any of these yet. Like I just got it day before yesterday and I told you guys my exam is in two weeks. So I do not really have the time to swatch anything or see anything. This is literally the first time I'm going to swatch these. So let's swatch this color. Okay, so quite pigmented, like very pigmented in fact actually. Okay, so definitely very pigmented. Looking forward to this. Next, I have this. This is the e.l.f. Smudge Pot um, Long Lasting Eyeshadow and Eyeliner. And this is in the shade Brownie Points. So there was another color that I wanted to get but I ended up buying only this and I love how this is. Let me just open it up and try it. Okay, I cannot open it up. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let me just swatch it. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm already in love with this product okay so moving on I got two lip liners from NYX now the NYX slim lip liner pencils are my favorite I already have it in natural I got two more I got it in 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 nutmeg which is a brown sort of a color and I got it in peekaboo neutral now this has been sitting in my Amazon wish list for a year and a half I was waiting for the price to come down so I could buy it but thankfully my brother went to the US first so I got it via him Peekaboo neutral kind of like a peachy brown I would say more on the peachier mauvier side and this is um, a mid-tone brown so I got these two then what else do I have let's see okay so I get, again got a couple of stuff okay so I got this elf eye refresh thing I, ref I don't know what this is but let, let me just read okay so this is the cooling sensation of this rollerball helps brighten and refresh the eye area to help alleviate under eye puffiness and dark circles 
so basically this is kind of like an eye roll you just put it around your eyes um, before it says you can also um, apply over or under makeup as often as desired so this is what I got I do not remember the individual prices but I will list down all the individual prices and all the things that you see in this haul in the description box so if you want to know some more about the products you can check out the description box two more products from NYX and they are the NYX lip lingeries now I got this in ruffle trim and I got it in Teddy now Teddy is of course my favorite it is a mid-tone brown and ruffle trim is more kind of like on the peachier side I have not swatched any of these but if you want me to do a review on these or just any of the products that you see in this video you can let me know in the comments I will definitely definitely do it so yeah these two are the things that I got from NYX I think these two are the last products that I got from NYX hopefully because I don't see any other thing from NYX as of now so anyway these two are the ones that I got next moving on I got this blending brush from elf because a girl can never have enough of blending brushes for a good eye makeup you just need tons of blending brushes and a good pigmented eyeshadow palette that's it so I got this then I got this quad this is actually a color corrector and this is by a brand called J Cat Beauty. The only reason I got it was because I need the orange color corrector for under my eyes. Um, the car one that I'm currently using is from the Kiss Beauty palette and I've already hit pan with that so I needed a color corrector so I got this. Next I have the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. This is the first time I've got a makeup fixing spray. I've never used one before. I was obviously curious to try it so I got this one from e.l.f. Um, this is not the matte variant. I know that e.l.f. has a matte variant but this is just the normal one and the clear one. So looking forward to this as well. Uh, what else do I have? Okay, I have the Real Techniques um, sponge. Now I have used this before. I got it from Amazon, I would say two to one and a half years back. But when I look at this, like when I look at this up front, I can clearly see that the one that I had was vastly different from the one that I have in my hand right now. And I think perhaps I was given a dupe in the name of the original one, but you never know what Amazon is selling sometimes. So yeah, I got the makeup sponge from Real Techniques. Next, I have another eyeshadow palette. This is from a brand called Spl uh, Spring Fling and this is a 12 piece eyeshadow palette. Now, most of the eyeshadow palettes that I have are actually coming from the same color family. Like, it's very similar to the Rimmel one if you see the like, wait. Okay, so if you see the color families are kind of like very similar, the, new, um, the neutral color family. That's my favorite kind of colors to put on my eyes. So this is what the palette looks like. Really pretty, I would say. And swatching it, my fingers are clean. Let's swatch this one. Very pigmented once again. So I'm going to put this. Oh wow, you can use this as a highlighter, I think. Okay, so these are definitely very pigmented, and I'm looking forward to using these. Um, Spring Fling. I've never actually even heard of this brand before, but um, this was apparently new at Ulta, so I just got it and put it in my basket.